Uh, okay, so while I'm here, and with a bad leg, I can't possibly get back up there, we may as well do another song or two down here. Uh, Chris? <laughs> okay, I want to tell, tell a story, and for this one, I know I've had you do a bunch. I told you, my goal is to make you feel like you performed the set. So are we almost there? <laughs> Uh, I shouldn't be the only one sweating out here. All right, so I want to tell a story. This is a story about love, confusion, and Final Fantasy VII. It's called Tifa. All right, y'all. So what I want you to do for this story is sit down, if you could. Can we all sit? Let's have a seat. If I can do this on this bad knee, this will be the true test for this knee. You see it? All right, cool. Oh, thank you, guys. That way the folks back there can see. Oh, can I get a chair? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this is just like when I was teaching. It's story time. Story time with Mega Ray, you know? Oh, make some noise for yourselves for sitting. This is great. Yeah. Oh, that me. Okay, so here we go, y'all. This is Tifa. Teacher always had the chair. <laughs> Anybody excited for Final Fantasy VII Remake? Woo! Holy crap! <laughs> Me too. I can remember taking walks by the lake with her by my side. I was maybe 11 or 12 at the time. We were inseparable, strictly a platonic thing. She was a bit of a tomboy, just trying to hang. We traveled everywhere as a duo. If I go, you go. If I know, you know. See, we were best friends, and of course she was mine. We snuck up on this path past Nibelheim. I knew we weren't supposed to, but I did it. Knowing full well her parents, they would probably kill us. But she was with it, still let it continue. Never was the type to pass on a good adventure. When we saw the mountain, I don't recall who decided that it might be fun if we both tried to climb it. So inch by inch, till we almost made it topside. Then I caught a ledge, then I saw a rock slide. I yelled, it might have sounded like I cried. We both crashed down to the rock floor. A 12-foot drop felt like a lot more. Blacked out, then the ambulance shows up. I was on crutches, but she was in a coma. Man, I was hurt, but I was worried about Tifa. Her dad starts tripping, telling me you can't see her. Man, I'm crushed like red pepper. As he felt tears forming when he told me to forget her. Apologize forever, I told him that I'd do better. But he never ever approved of us being together. She was mad strong, that there's inevitable. Said if you love her, try letting her go, but that hurt. Felt like somebody was kicking me. Words can't express what this conversation did to me. All because of one childish mistake. I might not again see her beautiful face. And yo, I love her. But when you love someone so much, and you call and check up on them, and then uh, someone says, hey, who's calling? And they're like, a friend. You're like, word. Oh, baby, you, <laughs> you got what I need. Help me out, y'all. Yeah. You say he's just a friend. What? But you say he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you, Woo! you got what I need. Yeah. But you say he's just a friend. What? You say he's just a friend. Oh, every day for a week, I went to take for strip, brought soup, brought flowers, and whatever we could give. I couldn't leave him at the gate because dad got tired of me being at his place. Eventually, Tifa recovered, and I had to tell her something I could no longer keep undercover. We were forbidden, but luckily she still wanted to see me. Tell me when and where I come through early, like a preemie. You may have to sit down, brace yourselves for this next day. Yo, I'm leaving town for Midgar next spring. The difference is this isn't for employment. I'm not even going to find enjoyment. I want a joint soldier and be all I can be. And later we'll come back for everyone to see. Who knows? Maybe I'll be the next Sephiroth. Promise she would be around just to see me off. She joked and said that I would be famous. She read about my adventures in the daily paper. I couldn't tell her why I did it, to be honest. I wanted to be strong and prove a father wrong. So right before I left, I made her make a promise that if I see you, and if you're ever in a bind and you got us, I'd come to your rescue. But who's this sack dude, really? You! 
You got what I need. Hey, but you say he's just a friend. What? But you say he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you. You got what I need. Yeah, but you say he's just a friend, not a cousin. You say he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you. Thank you. That was fun. That was fun. All right. So uh, I wrote a bunch of songs about Final Fantasy VII because I think it's like the greatest game of all time. And um, I tried to apply them to like real world situations, but most of them make no sense. So, so, so hence songs like that. So anyway, uh, 